Shuttle Control, at T-minus 2 hours, 31 minutes, 35 seconds and counting. And the flight crew is departing the operations and checkout building. Uh, led by Commander Dan Brandenstein, they are uh, getting into the elevator where, where they will uh, make the trip down to the ground floor. Uh, NASA test director has called the crew quarters and has verified that we are ready to support the flight crew's departure from the crew quarters and their subsequent arrival at the pad. A crowd of news media representatives and employees have gathered at the uh, walkway the crew will use to exit the building. Uh, standing by is the astronaut van, which will take the crew to the launch pad. And here comes the crew for Mission 51G. Uh, led by Commander Brandon Stein. And they're waving to their well-wishers there outside the operations and checkout there. Sultan Al Saud boarding the astronaut van. Followed by John Fabian. And Frenchman Patrick Baudry. MS-3 Shannon Lucid. Steve Nagel. Astronaut John Young, and there's uh, George Abbey, Director of uh, Flight Crew Operations. And the 51G flight crew will be departing shortly for launch pad 39A. This is shuttle launch control at T minus 2 hours, 8 minutes, 43 seconds and counting. Uh, the flight crew has arrived at the White Room, and each member will now put on his integrated egress harness and his launch and entry helmet before getting into the vehicle. Uh, Commander Dan Brandenstein and pilot John Creighton will be uh, the first to get in, and uh, they are presently getting into their gear. Uh, they'll be followed by mission specialist uh, John Fabian and Steve Nagel, and finally the two payload specialists, uh, Patrick Baudry and uh, Sultan Al Saud, and MS-3 Shannon Lucid. Uh, pilot J.O. Creighton uh, getting his helmet on at this time. Here's the uh, mission specialist Shannon Lucid and uh, Steve Nagel. And flight uh, Houston, we're ready to pick up with the air to ground voice here. Okay, you've got to go. French astronaut Patrick Baudry, who is 39, is uh, preparing to enter the orbiter at this point. Uh, he is a lieutenant colonel in the French Air Force and has held a number of test pilot assignments and has logged more than 4,000 hours of flying time.
at T minus one minute and counting. All systems go. The sound suppression water system is now being armed. Free lift off water will be released at T minus 16 seconds. T minus 48 seconds. Solid rocket booster development flight instrumentation recorder has gone to the record mode. And the main propulsion system liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen outboard fill valves have been closed. We're coming up on an auto sequence start. T minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's four redundant computers have primary control of critical vehicle functions. T minus 21 seconds and counting. SOB engine nozzle profile is now underway. T minus 16 seconds. T minus 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Discovery, and the shuttle has cleared the tower. Discovery has cleared the tower at pad 39, rolling around to the proper azimuth to place the spacecraft on a 28 and a half degree inclination orbit. All three auxiliary power units operating at uh, 100 plus percent of their rated RPM of 72,000 RPM.
copy, and we have a good picture now. Houston, we're going to try to show you a spin up on the elbow camera if you are going to still be with us with TV. Okay, John, we're still with you. We have a picture now on the, uh, the elbow camera, so we'll be waiting to see the spin up. seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And we do have verification, electronic verification that the satellite's been deployed. Data reflects it uh, to be a nominal deployment. We'll stand by now for the crew's verification and uh, report. Star deployment upcoming in one minute. Mark. Roger, we're uh, ready to copy, John. Sounds to me like it's three up and three away. Sides retired. No, we're not ready for retirement quite yet, Bob, but uh, we're glad to be three for three. We were off on time. Attitude one nine or five decimal eight five six seven decimal seven six and two one decimal one zero. The rates negative point zero zero one. Negative point zero zero two and positive point zero zero three. And for anomalies, we'll say nominal, nominal, nominal. That sounds good. I like good work to me, John. Well done. Well, we uh, appreciate all the good work at Houston and KSC to make these three satellites ready for deploy. Roger, I'm sure uh, everybody that had a hand in it uh, enjoys the success that you've seen and uh, enjoys uh, hearing your uh, reports that everything went well. Well, greetings, Houston. Uh, here we are on the mid-deck, 
and uh, we've had a pretty good fight so far. As uh, you know, a most uh, momentous e event, uh, having the occasion of uh, having a ceremony, and uh, we had uh, a launch day, uh, quite a momentous event, uh, the 100th American to reach space as a result of the space manned spaceflight program uh, was on board, and uh, we're going to let the world know who that person was right now. Uh, Shannon Lucid was the uh, first runner-up, and she was a 99th, and uh, she got the space uh, three inches ahead of Steve Nagel, who was the 100th individual to uh, reach space uh, in the manned space program, at least the 100th American. And for that event, we have a cake, which Steve will be able to cut. And I'm sure he's been working on a speech all this time. He probably has some words he'd like to say. Okay, we're well, ready. Thank you very much. I'm not sure if that's true, uh, although uh, I sat three inches behind Shannon. My nose is about three and a half inches longer than hers is. So it, it's still a debatable point in my mind anyway, but I thank you very much for this great honor and especially the cake, which I'll gladly eat. Uh, Roger, copy. Do you have METs on those entries into space? We're zooming in on the cake now. It looks pretty good. Well, I think uh, we probably, or at least a couple of us, got to go up and watch the water dump some more, and the uh, rest of us are going to eat this cake. And I don't know if anybody else has anything they'd like to say. The mission's been going very good. Everybody's been performing great. And we got a, a few more days to do, go and a few more things to do. But uh, the vehicle has really been great, and uh, you folks on the ground have been giving us a big help, and we appreciate that also. Thanks a lot, Dan, for the views, and uh, we really appreciate your work up there. Okay. Well, some of us have to go back to work.
watching this, there were a uh, few people down there holding their breath and watching their watches to see if we were going to maneuver. Uh, that's affirmative on that. Certainly were uh, seven people up here doing the same thing. Houston, as you folks down there can uh, tell, she worked just like advertised. Roger, John, we watched it. It looked great. We got a good uh, cabin scene right now. Discover Houston, thank you very much for the show. We all really appreciate it, and uh, particular thanks from the uh, flight director. He's uh, going to make good use of that. Discovery, Houston. Go ahead, Houston. All right, Roger, Discovery. Request all crew members temporarily drop what they're doing and flow to the tension. I have an important announcement to make and request also that Steve Nagel make his way to the front of the bus, please. been determined that in about five seconds, Steve Nagel will, pe will start the 100th orbit of this flight. Two, one, mark. <laughs> the 100th American has just started the 100th orbit of this flight, which will be known officially as Orbit Nagel. Steve, if you're available, you would do us a great honor by giving us a few words on this occasion. Well, I'm uh, flabbergasted, to say the least. I'm very pleased about this. Uh, it's 
really something that everyone can go out and look at every night and look at my orbit in the sky. All right, there it is. I don't even know how appropriate the starting point for the Steve Nagel orbit was because we were right over Africa seeing massive fires, which is what Steve is mostly into. Roger, and be advised that was the 100th nose on the 100th node of this flight. Uh, could you repeat that so we could write it down? We didn't get anything. Roger, that was the 100th nose on the 100th node of this flight. Discovery Houston with you through Tedris. Roger, Houston. Uh, we're reading you loud and clear, and Sultan's ready on the mid deck. Okay, we have a good downlink. Uh, I'll hand you over at this time to the Washington commentator. Dear Sultan, we are proud of your mission. It is a great achievement I wish to send through you my best wishes to His Excellency President Reagan and the friendly American nations. Thank you very much. I hope to see you soon. My best uh, uh, like uh, what what shall I do? I'm uh, I'm very happy this time when I see you in the cover. I'm very happy when I I give you your uh, father. Please speak your father. Thank you very much. Escort again, 
سيدي على هذه الكلمة وإن شاء الله أوصل تحياتك للجميع وأشعرك أن الحمد لله أني أشعرك بفخور جدا أني أني أحمل هالمهمة أني أسكن على أبناء بلدي وإن شاء الله نكون على مستوى المسؤولية ألو الوالد مساك الله بالخير طال عمرك أهلا سلطان الحمد لله على نجاح رحلتك أرجو أن تبلغ تحياتي لزملائك و والدتك واختك يسلموا عليك وطيبين وبخير وان شاء الله نشوفك بالسلامه وبالتوفيق واحسن خبر سمعته اليوم انك ختمت القران في الفضاء وهذا شيء اشكر الله عليه دائم التوفيق ان شاء الله ومع السلامه تفضل <تصفيق> يا ابن سلطان يا الابن سلطان نحن انا اطمع في بقيه الدقائق لان قيل لي انه في بضع دقائق فاكرر مره اخرى تمنياتي طيبه لك ولزملائك واشكر كذلك هيئات التلفزيون في المملكه العربيه السعوديه وعلى راسها وزير الاعلام والمساعدين له وكذلك هيئات التلفزيون في المحطات في محطات الولايات المتحدة ومن قام وساهم معنا في هذا العمل الجليل وأتمنى لك وللعلماء السعوديين الذي هم في انتظارك كل التوفيق والنجاح وشكرا وإلى اللقاء إن شاء الله يا لقاء طويل العمر بس احب طال عمرك اشعركم انه اني ما طلعت الحقيقه للمهمه هذه الحالي اشعر اني طلعت الفريق العلمي جميع اللي اشتغلوا وتعبوا معاي و... وعلى راس ما في شك دكتور عبد الله الدباغ وكذلك اشعر زميلي واخي في التدريب عبد المحسن البسام اللي سهر الليالي وتعب معي انه موجود معي الان اتمنى طال عمرك لو كان الجميع معي في ال... على الرحله ويشوفون ال... اللي اشوفه لكن ان شاء الله تحصل فرصه في المستقبل اللي... للمزيد من الشباب اشكرك يا طويل العمر على المكالمه وابن ان شاء الله يكون في هذا عملنا خير للاسلام والمسلمين والامه العربيه يا جماعه في امان الله يا طويل العمر ونراك ان شاء الله على خير واذا تابعونا طاب شيء من هنا Eric Gilbo from uh, the French News Agency. A question for Patrick Baudry. Uh, Patrick, uh, what are the specific lessons you can draw from your trip in space for the project of an European Space Shuttle Hermes? <coughs> I think there is not uh, an immediate profit for the future of uh, the project Hermes. But, uh, you know, a test flight is a space flight and the condition of flight is are very different from the condition of life we know on the Earth and even from the condition of life we have aboard an aircraft. So any experience aboard of a spacecraft is very important to the, uh, to the project uh, Hermes and I hope this flight will be very useful uh, in this uh, area. Uh, for Commander Brandenstein and John Fabian, you both flew just about two years ago. Is there any difference, do you notice any difference in, uh, in the Earth? Uh, are there any differences in your observations this time from two years ago? Well, it's, uh, the best thing about this flight is that I got to command it, which means I'll get to land it when we get home. But uh, obviously with a, a crew of seven, uh, conditions are a little more crowded and we have to uh, be a little more conscious of uh, where we move and uh, how we plan our uh, program. Uh, we feel uh, very proud of the uh, four satellites uh, that we uh, deployed. I also went back and retrieved one. And uh, I'm proud of the whole crew because they've done a tremendous job and we're just uh, looking forward to uh, wrapping it up today and coming home tomorrow morning. Uh, commander has 
uh, corrected to the correct glide slope and is uh, Discovery Houston, show you correcting the glide slope. Slightly right of center line, surface winds 135 at 10. That's 10 knots from the left. Anticipate touchdown in a minute. Four miles from the end of the runway, it's 6,300 feet altitude. Sink rate uh, 192 feet per second. Airspeed uh, 290 knots, 3,000 feet altitude, 3,000 feet even. Two miles from the end of the runway. 1,000 feet altitude. Sink rate is now uh, 70 feet per second. Gear are down. One mile from the runway. Uh, 86 feet. Uh, gear are down and locked. And we have touchdown at mission elapsed time, seven days, one hour, 38 minutes, and 50 seconds. to roll out margin to be uh, 4,500 feet and 15% braking. Oh, we'll stop at uh, seven days, one hour, 39 minutes, 30 seconds. Sultan al-Saud. 